Hi, welcome uh, at another Canto RoboFlow training movie. In this training movie, I will show you that uh, with an action in RoboFlow, you can add but also remove uh, permissions from a record or a category. Um, to demonstrate this, I have uh, a workflow, which is a hot collection workflow, which looks for a record name starting by air in the sample catalog. So that means we are going to find this particular record. And if we look at the properties today, there are no permissions, no record specific permissions assigned. Um, so if I have a look at the workflow, I can apply a permission template to a record. You can do the same thing to, um, put, uh, a, for example, um, a category. So if I want to apply a permission template, I can select one. Um, you always have to select first the catalog because permission templates, assets, uh, handling sets, asset actions, etc., are all can all be bound to or related to a catalog. So that's why you first have to select the catalog before you can select the permission template. And I just say I'm going to execute a permission template which I created, which is called add guest. So if I have a look in Cumulus. I have a permission template called add guest, which adds here a modification a permission to uh, the records and categories. Then if I uh, now go to the workflow and run the workflow, start If I have a look in Cumulus at the properties of this record, I now can see that this guest has been added and has now uh, the record permission. Now this is a functionality that already existed in the past. What did not exist is the fact that at some point for some records, you might want to remove all permissions uh, assigned to it, not just that particular one, or uh, something specific, but all. And well, this is possible by going to uh, that particular action. And instead of specifying a name, you can simply specify null. Uh, so if you specify the null value, uh, similar to uh, doing this for record or category fields, it will set it to null and uh, to no value. So you're resetting the permissions of a record in this case to no permissions whatsoever. That does not mean that nobody can access it. It just means that there are no specific permissions added to this individual record. So if I run this again, start and I have a look in my record when it's finished. Information properties, you can see that this permission has been removed again. So very easy and very useful functionality. For some reasons, you could at some point add uh, permissions with a permission template or even remove permissions with a permission template, whatever permission template is doing and is configured to do for you. But to get rid of everything, you can simply uh, do it that way. You can simply remove, set the action the permission to null and that will remove everything. So thank you for joining this little training movie.